Hey everyone, Friendly here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing episode 2 of the Train Tutorial Series, and today we're going to be going over different types of couplings. So, obviously, once you're building your locomotive, you don't really think about how you're going to connect it to other carriages, and that's actually completely fair, because in Scrap Mechanic, really you don't, you don't want to do that, because it can't really handle it, because it's so laggy. But it also can look good for aesthetics, or... If you do end up having a powerful enough computer to manage to do that without lagging, then you can go for it. So obviously, before we do any coupling stuff, we need to add some buffers onto this frame. I'm using the pegged frame from the from the last video. And we're just going to add a little buffer plate on here, and I'll show you that after it's done. Alright, so I have built a little easy, simple buffer plate here. And um, over here we have all the different types of couplers that we do tend to use. I mean, at least I do. This is what I do. Um, there are lots of other ways that people do it. Um, there's actually one that I will just show you later. It's not really like any of these, but you know, it, these are like for looks really. So the first one, it, it doesn't do anything. So this is like what I would put on the front of my locomotive. Like I put it on the front of the Flying Scotsman. Or if I'm not going to use it for anything. Yeah, it's just a simple square bar part. Um, here, you can find it right here. It's the three-way V square bar. And that's in between two of X's buffers. And these buffers are actually really cool. Because it's a buffer base, which is a, it's a suspension. And then it's a buffer plate. And the buffer plate, when it hits something, actually goes in to the buffer base. And it looks really, really cool. So this one, yeah, it's just for aesthetics. Uh, it doesn't really do much, but there you go. That's an option. The next one, again, uses the buffer plates because they is absorb it when the carriage is hit together. It helps a lot, and also it looks really nice. Uh, it's with the ropes mod, um, and white will attach the rope. Black will detach the rope, and the ropes can be a bit stretchy if you pull it. Something that's too heavy because of how physics work in this game. I, I have no idea why. But adding multiple rope blocks will fix that. But at the same time, having multiple rope blocks can be very, very glitchy. So I would not recommend having more than one. Uh, the last one here is the Dumb Things Coupler, which is a giant square of pipes. And you can push this button, which will pivot around. And to connect it, you just break the block here. You slide another one in of the opposite degree. And then you just place the block back with a pipe here. And then you just go like that, and then it would be connected. But obviously, um, I don't have anything here to show it. So I'm going to install this one on to the train, because obviously this one is um, this one's just for looks, and it doesn't, it's not going to help, really. So the first thing we want is we want the buffer plate, and we want the buffer base. Um, so I'm going to place it like this, and like this, then connect it like this that they can be a bit finicky to place on and like that i'm then going to paint these light red to match the base there and now what we're going to do is we're going to search for a rope and we're going to grab it here i like to turn it like that so it's upwards it just looks a bit more like um there's a rod going through it and then that would be like where it pivots you know back and forward i don't know i just think that looks a bit better then we're going to grab a button any kind will do i like to use this one just because it shows the colors and it's vanilla so like you know white and then we go black and we connect them in so to show this off i'm just gonna push this um up to that other carriage there with thrusters uh, i don't know why i'm in the tool section thruster just like this and a button Alright, so we will place one here and one here with a button like this and going like this. We will send this guy over just a bit more and that will be good. And then I'll stand in front of it to stop it there. And so now if we push this button, it connects, right? And then if we were to say with a thruster, go like this. Now when we drive... It takes this along with us, right? And then we push black and it will disconnect the ropes. Now, that's the advantage of the rope connector. It is so simple to use. It's just like that. And it actually is probably the most lag-free connector because the creations aren't actually technically together. So that saves on a lot of lag. 
but at the same time, it can be very weak. And if your pony's lying too heavy or it stretches too much around a corner, then it will freak out and it has a chance of the creation flying out of your world and breaking forever. So those are, pro those are the pros and those are the cons of this connector. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, goodbye. All right, guys, so now we're going to do the next connector, which is the Dumb Things connector. I have installed one over on that locomotive over there, just so you guys can see how it works uh, when we couple it together. Because this is the one disadvantage to this coupler, um, is you have to have it on both creations, which obviously that seems like logical. But it also just is more complicated to, to do. It lags more, and it's... It, it was the best coupler when it w went before the rope mod existed and everyone used it. But now the rope mods here, I've been using the rope mod a lot for 3U locomotives and the trains. As you saw in the train series, I hope that we can get that world back and fixed soon. Anyways, to start with this coupler, we're going to need a controller, so I'll just place that down there. Then we're going to need a switch, I'll also place it down there. You'll probably want it in a more convenient spot. Uh, the next thing is we want to do this, and then we want to connect that to that, that to that, and then we're going to set the controller to 90 degrees, and we're going to disable it so it doesn't actually go, and then we're going to go out two blocks like this on each side, and then we'll curve in, and again, and then we'll go out again, just like this, and then we'll go out in a few here, and then we'll curve in. Uh, that's too big here. We'll go like this. And then we'll go like this. And like this. Now this can really be any size that you want. This is just my example size. Like this is a bit big, but at the same time it does help with really tight corners. So then you would push this switch and then it would switch this direction. Obviously you want it to be above the track line, so... I think that the train would normally be connected higher up, but for the sakes of the tutorial, that's how we're going to do it. So then you turn it like this, and well, that's, you know, that's that's how it is. So we will go over here back to the thrusters, and we'll go over to this locomotive, and we will, we shall connect to it. So we'll just cruise right on in, and now I'll slow it down, hopefully. Now to connect it, we're just going to do that, and then we are going to give it a little tap in. Now that it's connected, we can place the pipe back through. And uh, number one thing you don't want to do is that, because that that would that would be very bad. So now again, just like before, if we take this locomotive and we go forwards, it will pull that one with us. Obviously, we can't go any further because we just hit the old example. I don't know why I still have these spawned in, but. So that's one other coupler design. Now, another one that you could do for aesthetics is with, like, an actual, like, build a proper chain link thing, but that would cause a lot of lag, and I would not recommend that. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's episode on couplers and buffers. If you did like it, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next episode where we talk about different building techniques for the locomotives, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.